Audi. These are wireless IoT sensors. We've got humidity, temperature, barometric pressure, infrared temperature um, for contact of surface, and there are so many more, including um, light sensors, infrared light sensors, and ambient or UV light, motion detection. All of it fits in a little 3D printed box. And this is a piece of cake for college undergraduates to, to put together, <clears throat> all open source. All right. And then they can be battery powered, or they can be solar powered, or you could plug them into the wall. And then this little doodad will transmit uh, its data over IoT, and you can have it remotely placed all uh, in an array, collecting data in a facility, on a farm, in a hospital, okay? And if you start to think about mobile robots in a, in a different paradigm, instead of asking, what can we build on top of a robot and what sort of massive project with hardware and electronics and, and added software uh, can, can we challenge ourselves with? What if we just add a sensor or we deploy sensors and we treat the mobile robot as a mobile sensor? Then if you consider what happened to mobile phones, your iPhone is just a, a portable sensor. It can do logging, it can save to the hard drive, it can pass that data back to a database, a, a server. The data can get aggregated, and then every application that was ever built that adds value in your mobile phones, all the way down to Google Maps traffic monitoring, this is just an impact of having sensors that can go where we need them to. And in the case of the phone, it's only going where the person goes. But in the case of mobility, we can place them according with GPS, according with criteria that the robot is sensing. And we can have a massive value added project that is easy to prototype. And maybe it moves most of your work over to only writing some software, writing a GUI, uh, a menu for the user to, to work through. And this is um, really heavily uh, opening options for business to business. So. If you want to design a project that has value in the real world, that is commercializable, let's, let's try to constrain our efforts to the spaces where we have a, an existing skill set. And I see a lot of student projects where they're trying to build more and more in, in one semester or in one year, they're trying to build an entire new contraption that's as complicated as the robot itself, as adding power demands, as adding mechanical uh, designs that we're still learning how to do CAD in this semester, or we're still learning how to do uh, prototyping, manufacturing of the prototype uh, components and, and how fasteners really work. And you could spend a lifetime just learning about fasteners. So consider this, uh, this whole entire space. Uh, we're going to release continued ideas like um, what can you do on a farm with mobile sensors? But this is nothing new. The new part is let's not reinvent the wheel. Let's take these open designs that have already been tested out, use that for my prototype. And then when I create a project with my team, <clears throat> then our added value is on the system that's going to deliver a new result. And then we can really operate in our specialty, such as if you're a software person, an AI person, if you're really good with Python, then that's where you focus your energy. And this is all borrowed and documented and uh, free to use and free to repeat. And that's what Scuttle is all about. It started in the classroom. It started with teaching mobile robotics. That uh, demand for teaching is not going away. The demand for learning. And we see folks who have PhDs in other engineering disciplines, and they're still they're here feeling like at home, learning the basics of something mechanical or some power delivery systems, batteries, and uh, having that all already made and already uh, written out with videos and, and instructions and data sheets, make your job easier. And this is my, uh, my message basically for capstone teams and student design teams 
research teams that are on a one-year timeline. Um, the next step to do something meaningful and impactful and, and have pride in your work so that your machine functions really the way that you imagined on day one when you go to deliver that project.